When I was in Cape Town, I did a lot of thinking. Thinking about my life, how to spend my time, revisiting my long-term goals and how I'm going to achieve them. Something was in the way of me really doing this. Today, I'll be talking about some of the things that I did to distract myself from social media. Once I quit social media, I became aware of a few things. Connecting with actual human beings began to show me who's really my friend and who's just an acquaintance. And to be honest, this journey hasn't been easy. I had to find alternative ways of spending my time. When I stopped using social media, it felt like I had a lot of time that I needed to use for doing something else. So I started doing activities with my family and friends, going bowling, visiting the bird parks, going to the zoo. It's been quite a crazy time for me this past few months. Since January started, I've been working on two projects, three projects actually, where I'm an actor in them. I haven't really had time to really vlog as often as I would like to. I must say I miss doing this. There's a high level of creativity and freedom and expression that happens when I do these vlogs. And I only aim to get better at these because I feel like if I'm not acting, then I need another outlet of expressing myself. And this has strongly become one of the main mediums of how I express myself. This time I'd booked two films, one series as an actor and still trying to maintain business for my production company which became a nightmare to manage. Because of this I started having less time to do the things that are actually progressing my company forward which at first I was very excited about. Rather be too busy than not, right? Well, I'm starting to believe otherwise. So as human beings we have to be aware of ourselves and what works for me may not work for you. For example, I get strange breakouts if I'm not well rested which messes with my self-confidence and I don't perform as well as I'd like to in front of the camera. I'd like to see myself as a master of none. I do do a lot of things at the same time. However, this analogy has always stuck with me that I was taught by my mom when I was young. If you take a magnifying glass, put it under the sun and you move it around, it won't burn anything. But if you keep it stationed and focused, it'll spark a fire. So what I'm trying to really get at is my understanding of being busy is just solely focusing on one thing and making sure that you're killing that thing. Today's my day off. And yeah, I am putting together a video for you. Clearly, this is something that really matters to me. We'll be here for summer, then we're gone. We'll be here for sunrise, then we'll fly. I just got myself a nice film camera. The reason why I got this is really, I wanted to learn the basic fundamentals of composition. And I felt that taking it back to this guy and just being able to play around, because what's nice about this is you don't know what you're really getting until you get it processed. So yeah, good luck to me. Anyway. During my social media break, I realized that a lot of the work that I was doing was influenced by what I saw on social media. And now my frame of reference is my life experiences, this book that I'm reading called Art Equals, as well as some YouTube videos, of course. Look, I'm not gonna sit here and act like there's not a great trade-off from taking idea from social media, which I completely miss because there are some great content creators out there. What's nice about this social media stuff is that you get a short burst of dope content within 30 seconds and you get inspired. The film camera that I showed you earlier has become an extension of the creative thinking. I'm excited to take some dope photos with it. We're already taking about 13 photos and what's crazy is you snap and you have no idea what the image is going to look like until it gets processed. Because it's film, you really have to be specific in terms of the framing, how you capture the image. It's not like your phone where you can just take a thousand photos at once because each frame is money. So. 
That's dope. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Just do comment below and tell me what you think about these frames because I'm trying to play around with my framing and tell my stories in different ways. I like to see some eye candy every time I switch the frame. I need to feel like, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> yeah. My guy. I know you still you Today I'm chilling with the boys and we're chilling at the go-kart place here in Hyde Park and we just lost electricity. Can you imagine? Low shedding as I'm taking my video. Welcome to South Africa guys. This is what it is but luckily they have a generator here and I'm just going to continue with this video because yeah. Do enjoy this part of the video. I'm doing this essentially because um, quitting social media has not been easy and having to find different things to do within the midst of the nothingness. It's quite tough, but it, I think I've found a groove to it. I've now found different things to do with my friends and family. And today I'm chilling with the boys, like I said, and we're just going to drive carts around. And now for the rest of the video, just enjoy some of the B-roll that I shot when I was still out there in Cape Town. And um, yeah, enjoy the footage. <laughs> That's me attempting to wink. Yeah. 